Hello, I'm Zane Allen uh, with Pure Storage and author of the West Coast IT Hipster blog. Uh, in this video, we're going to go over snapshots, snapshot policies, volume copies, and one of my favorite features of Pure, uh, and that's safe mode and how it can lend itself well to data protection. So in the dashboard here, we're going to start under storage. And that's where you can see, uh, you know, my host configured. I got a volume configured tied to tied to that host. Uh, similar name, so I can keep track of it. Got the sizes here. How much is taken up? Reduction. We're gonna dive into volumes, and we're gonna take a look at the snapshot section. So I already have a snapshot created from the menu here on the right. We can do all the functions such as copy, restore, rename. Go ahead and make a copy real quick. Show you how easy that is to do. Spaceless copy. Just making a copy vol volume from that snapshot. Go back in this menu. Uh, we can restore from here, of course, rename. Uh, but we also have the ability to destroy. So this is remove that snapshot manually. Do destroy. But Pure does something where it puts it into this destroy bucket. It's a, a recycle bin, if you will. So it's not off the array for another day. Right? By default, 24 hours, it's going to sit there and then, you know, Pure will clean it up later. If I did it by accident, I can come in here and say recover and bring that right back to the volume snapshots. And this is a manual snapshot, so it's going to stay there as long as I keep it. Now we made that volume copy, so I'm going to come over here to volumes. We see we have very similar choices. I can also destroy that volume, right? This is really any volume. We're doing it from a copy. Um, and I can hit that eradication bucket button from the destroyed volumes and fully remove it from the array. So there's a demonstration of how that works. I have a volume clone. I had it in volumes. I fully deleted it in the eradication bucket and then I fully eradicated it so it's now off the array. Those pointers are no longer on that array. So it's kind of a basic functions of how snapshots and in volume uh, copies work. Before we Get out of here, we'll create one more snapshot. Show how it's a very similar process with snapshots. Now I have that new snapshot. I'm gonna go back to destroy like we did before. Hit destroy. It's in the de uh, destroyed bucket uh, where we can now fully eradicate it. I wanna hit that eradication bucket. That volume or that snapshot uh, for that volume is no longer on the array, right? We had a fully dedupe, thin provision, snapshot, metadata pointers to blocks on the array that could have used to restore from, clone from like we did. Um, but we took it into that eradication bucket. By default, we had the 24 hour timer. If I did nothing, it would have sat there for a day, but then I manually removed it and removed that from the array. So now let's show how we can extend this protection, make sure those snapshots are there when we need it with a feature called safe mode, which will lay right over the snapshot and cloning policy I just showed. Okay, now with safe mode enabled, let's take a look at volume snapshots. There's my host, got that snapshot. Like before, I have this menu that I can do a copy. So we'll, first we'll make a volume copy. Same as before, works no problem. I'm gonna go back here, we're gonna do the destroy command is going to put it into that recycle bin, if you will, that destroyed bucket by taking it out of volume snapshots, but keeping it on the array uh, with an extended timer. First thing we'll notice here different from the standard is uh, I've extended that timer to seven days. So when I enabled safe mode, asked for seven days eradication timer, that snapshot now will live in that eradication for the seven days before it's fully removed from the array. I can still recover and I still have the choice to do the eradication fully to get it off there manually. But again, safe mode's enabled and this is blocked. So with safe mode enabled, I have that seven day extension, have the eradication button, but I can't fully uh, do that motion. I can restore it though, bring it right back into volume snapshots. So it's deleted before it's time, I'm protected. Now let's take a look at the volume copy. Just like with the snapshot, I have the ability to destroy this 
Again, as you probably guess it, when I go through the destroy command, it's going to go into the destroyed volumes bucket, the recycle bin, if you will. I have that extended timer, right? This is really protecting the entire array. So seven days extension. I have the eradication button, but when I go through with it, I am met with the same error. Eradication is disabled. So anything's deleted manually before it's time, it's going to sit in that bucket for the remainder of that period that you set the eradication timer. Now let's take a look at protection groups. So these are the automated snapshot schedules uh, that we can set on the volumes. I have one set here already for uh, create a snapshot every 12 hours, so two a day, keep those for one day, and then an extended for one snapshot from that set, set for three more days. So I have two from day one and then one for three more days. Now with safe mode enabled, you also can adjust the schedule, right? So you can't defeat your snapshot automatic schedule. So as an example, I'm gonna take this out to 20 hours, so less than two a day. And I'm gonna be met with that error that you can't reduce the schedule frequency. I can't make less snapshots uh, than what I've asked in the previous policy. So we'll take that back to 12 hours or take that to six hours. Um, and you're gonna be able to add four snapshots now because I've increased the frequency, I am able to do that. So I can have more snapshots, I can't have less. So now I have six, I'm gonna retain those, you know, every six, I'm gonna retain those for one day. So you, what if I take that frequency out to one week? I am gonna be able to do that because again, it's increasing it. I'm keeping a snapshot every six hours for one week, and then I'm extending it for three more days to retain one of those snapshots. But now that I've taken it to weeks, as you see, I can't reduce it. So I can't take it down to one day like it was before because I've already extended it out to one week. So you can extend it on your own. You can't reduce the frequency. Once you set that frequency, it can only go up from there. As you can see, cannot shorten it to days, even though that's what I had previously. So I could take this out to two weeks, three weeks more, um, but I can't take it down to days, minutes, seconds. So those snapshots, that I'm asking you to take will be there as I expect them to. So the same with the retention here. Um, I can retain, retain two of those snapshots per day. I had one before, now I can do two. Two of those uh, daily ones. So that extended of three more days. But now that I've set that, I can take it down to one day, right? Again, decreasing the frequency. I think, I think we're getting it here. But I um, just really want to drive it home. Increase, can't decrease. If I want to take that down, I'm going to have to contact customer support and adjust safe mode. So there's a way out. And now that I've adjusted that safe mode, I can go in and reduce the policy down to what I wanted again. Um, after which I'm happy. Go ahead and get safe mode back and enabled and all the rules that we went through apply. So hopefully you can see how pure array with safe mode enabled can help you protect against insider threats, ransomware, uh, and just ensure that your data is protected and available as you expected and there when you need it. Thank you for watching.